Connect to Dolly Bus. Bus interface. OK. Addressing. System extension will only search unaddressed devices. Complete new installation will addressing all devices. Here we have two dimmers and two dolly two switches. Click master device, device information. Name, manufacturers, serial number, version. Control gear, set the minimum brightness, maximum brightness, and so on. Click set to save settings. Dimensions, can switch to percentage display. Off. Min level. Max level. Down. Up. Step up and step down allow for fine dimming. Step down and off, the light will be turned off when it reaches the lowest brightness. On and step up, turn on and turn up the brightness, when the light is off. Scene. Recall scenes. Host parameters. System settings, this is for the Dolly Master touch panel. You can set the lock time, off display time, vibrator time, etc. System time set, synchronize the system time. System parameter set, save the settings to the panel. Restore factory set, factory reset the panel. C name, it has top name and below name. Import and export system settings. Read, read the panel settings. Write, writes the settings to the panel. Timer scheduler. Can be set up 256 tasks. Double click to select and modify the task. You can set the date and time. Select a single day or week. Call type, call a scene or cycle scheduler, etc. Control area, optional for all devices, groups, or a single address. Select the scene or cycle scheduler. Save the task. Check to enable the task. Store. Wait a moment, check whether the task is running. The task is running, call scene zero. Right-click a task, to modify it in batches. Enabled all, stop all. Enable reverse, will reverse the selection. Also can batch edit date, time and so on. Cycle scheduler. Light cycle running effect. Four mode presets, and can modify them. Select the device type. Click set to save the changes. Double-click to select and modify the task. Stay time, fade time, color, and brightness.
It can also be batch edited. Enabled all. Stop all. Enable reverse. Batch edits day time, fade time and brightness. Control area, optional for all devices, groups, or a single address. Store, save settings. Click start to see the effect. Stop running. Bionic mode. Make the light change color temperature 24 hours. Four mode presets can modify the color temperature and brightness. Control area, optional for all devices, groups, or a single address. Store, save settings. Start. Running info. You can learn about the running status of the bus. Bus state, voltage and mainboard version. Device control. Click a device. The device information is automatically read. Location, make the selected device blink. Read devices on selection. Uncheck it, the device configurations will not be read when you select the device. This can avoid multiple repeated reads and waste time. Check it, the configuration information will be read again. Control bar, you can control the dimmer directly. Off. Brightness Color can be controlled by channel composition and sliders Device information. The device name and hardware version are included. Short address. Set the device address here. After setting, the address of the device has changed. Member of group. Grouping devices. Click again to ungroup. Each device can be assigned to multiple groups. Control the group. Scene. There are 16 scenes. You can set brightness, color, etc. After the settings, you can call them through the bus or other controller. Status. You can view the running status of the device. Dolly control. Basic setup of the device. 
min level, max level, etc. Click right to save settings. Dolly 2 wall switch settings. Device information, such as the device name and version. Control device parameters, general. Application controller. Power cycle notification. Enable all instances. If checked, all instances will be enabled. Uncheck it, all instances will be disabled. Instances are buttons, sliders, sensors, etc. We can customize the function of each instance and group the switch. Instance configuration. Set the basic parameters of the instance. Instances can be grouped. View the type of the instance. Buttons, sliders, and sensors are supported. Event scheme. Generally, don't change the default settings. Enable the instance. Event filters. You can select the triggering event for the instance. The event will not be triggered after you uncheck it. For example, if you cancel the double press, there is no feedback when you double press the button. You cannot edit the action of the event. Check it, the event is enabled. You can also edit their feedback action. Timers. Set the trigger duration of each event. Generally do not modify them, otherwise it may lead to event judgment disorder. Application. Instance specific settings. This switch has two buttons, so there are two instances. Select the instance you want to edit. On off, when checked, instances are simplified to switch functions. Uncheck it, you can customize the function of its various events. Destination address. Sets the object of the instance. Control area, optional for all devices, groups, or a single address. Events and function. Set the function of each event. For example, the short press is set to the last active level. It means turn on the light. Double press set to maximum brightness. Long press set to brightness goes up. Right, saves the settings. Feedback. Set indicator feedback for the instance. Indicators are on and off in their colors, different devices have different features. For example, the feature of the switch, F0 is indicator 1 steady yellow. Feature F1 is indicator 1 steady red. Feature F2 is indicator 2 steady yellow. Feature F3 is indicator 2 steady red. Bind instances to bind features to an instance. Follow up. When the bound dimmer is on, the indicator is on. When the bound dimmer is off, the indicator is off. Reverse is the opposite. When the bound dimmer is off, the indicator is on. So we can design like this. Bind F0 to button 1 and set follow. Bind F2 to button 1 and set reverse. So when the dimmer lights up, the indicator lights up yellow. When the dimmer is off, the indicator is red. Updates. Help, check for updates. Dolly Master software version can be upgraded online. OTA help. Firmware over the air. Currently, the supported devices are master. Modules, panels and other Dolly devices will be supported in the future. For master, upgradable MCU have main boards and touch panel. Select the latest version. Click on the download. After the upgrade is complete, close, 